rabbits on the loose. Still a schedule 40, but it's called foam core. It's a lot cheaper than pressure pipe. These are half inch, 10 foot sections. You need four of these three inch L's, these 90 degree turns. Over here, now this is three foot wide hardware cloth. I'm going to use it because I just I've got a lot of it. And I've had it for a couple years. I still got some regular two foot standard chicken wire. Need a saw, a drill with a key part is a 7 8 paddle bit. Zip ties, measuring tape, there's a pipe cutter. Uh, we're only going to have to make probably two cuts on this. That is an 8 by 10 tarp. Now, also, I need, I've got here in this bucket, two half inch elbows. Also, in this bucket, I got some sheet metal screws that'll have the, uh, the washer built on. So, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you these measurements. We've got to cut one, we're going to cut one in half to be five foot. These other ones, I got to cut off somewhat because of to make it exactly 10 foot. So let's do that now. And you're going to need some rope too, probably about 10 foot, 10, 12 foot of rope. So here's the base of it. So what we're looking at our long piece is nine foot six and a half inches. Our little short pieces are just five foot even. Alright, so the very basic and simple. We've got a little primer. We're gonna hit this 90. Just on one end on the inside. Primer. You don't have to use this primer. I do it. Blue. I'm just going to hit the inside of that fitting. You can give it a little twist if you want to. Now I'm going to, do, I'm going to swip, swap this around so the camera can see. What I'm going to do is do the other end of this pipe. And when I do it, I'm going to lay this down flat. That way my other 90 is flat on the other end. Then 
All right, so I move my U shape against the wall and I'm working by myself. And that way, I'm gonna go ahead and primer everything that's left. I might put a little glue here, glue there, put this one on, go to the other end and put that one on. All right, so everything's pr prepped up with our primer. Now we just got this uh, all-purpose glue. But to work kind of quick, I'm just gonna hit it on inside the fit at both ends. And then I'm gonna uh, shove them in there. So there's your five by 10 base. Hey, if it's off a little bit, we're not building a, a clock, okay? It's a chicken coop. Chickens don't care. So we got our seven eighths paddle bit. What I wanna do, this is our 10 foot coming this way. This is our five foot. I don't wanna come exactly center. I wanna come more center of, of our 10 foot run and a little bit on the inside of our five foot run. I mean, really, you can't mess this up. It's going to work out. <clears throat> so right somewhere up in there. Just fill a hole. So now, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use that reference point. And because I'm using that hardware cloth that is three foot wide, I'm going to set my holes every 18 inches. Starting from this one right here. So we'll mark out. 18 inches all the way down all the way down the pipe on both sides all right so we got got our holes marked out there's another 18 inch so it's 18 inches between each hole we just go to the top drill it out just like that do this on both sides of your 10 foot sections of pipe all right, so this is what it should look like after you mark your holes at 18. Now, you can do this at a 24 inch center. Maybe you got just a regular chicken wire and it's 24 inches wide, and that's when I would go with 24 inches. So if you want this to stay mobile, we're gonna pop a few holes in this one. This is on the back side. Just anywhere you wanna put, just drill a few holes. <laughs> Why we drill these holes if you want it to be mobile this will allow any water any condensation to drain out if you want to stay put uh, don't drill these holes and I promise you you will not be able to move this coop if it fills up with water ask me how I know now we're sticking our half inch pipe in there half inch rails the girls are helping us Okay, so we had our three foot wide hardware cloth and I just went ahead and I cut a section that's 10 foot because our rails are 10 foot. 
Now, this is what's critical. You want this right, just about center, you know. And we're gonna probably hit, put this front. We're gonna have more zip ties on the front than, and and on the rear than we will anywhere. <clears throat> Zip it down good. And we're gonna keep that same, see how that wire is right in the center of the pipe? It can be over some. We're gonna do that all the way down on both sides. And then, and I've started on, started on this back side right here. Move the camera around. So, I'm doing the same thing. We're gonna keep that straight, straight. And then when we put our next piece, we'll overlap just a little bit. And we'll do the same thing, same thing. So, I want these two outside done really well. I can come back, put a few here on this little support brace. All right, so now we're gonna start securing the bottom to our three inch base. So I've got just these little sheet metal screws. It's already got a washer. Now you can use regular wood screws and a washer to do the same thing. Uh, you can use zip ties. This is just a little bit more secure. So I'm just gonna run a few along the bottom. Okay, so we got our first section, uh, this first three foot of our hardware claw. Now I'm going over to my second section. It's still three foot wide. Goes all the way around, 10 foot long. And there we go, we just got it overhanging there. So what I do is come to this outside. I'm gonna pin it down with a zip tie. I'm gonna let that wire go about halfway of the pot. So I'm gonna do that all the way over, just on this outside rail. And reason for that, when I go back and wanna, <clears throat> see if I can get this, and get, see it's loose right now. That way I can move this back and forth to make sure this gets overlapped like it's supposed to. Okay, so I built the door. Here are two, half inch L and I cut this to five foot five and this is still just our 10 foot piece we have okay now it's going to show up and it's going <clears> to <throat> it's going to be a little bit bigger it's going to stand up a little bit taller which is fine we won't because we won't just be completely covered okay so we put our zip ties I put one on each end and one around the middle, and it acts as like a hinge. And I use these little small zip tie or bungee cords. I'll put one up top and one on each end or the sides. So now I want to put my rope in here. Now you can just tie it around if you want to. I got 12 foot of rope. I think this time I'm just going to drill. I'm going to drill straight through and just run a straight line through there on both ends. So on our little rope, we just drilled a hole straight through, put the rope in there, tied a knot on the end. And we actually did this on both ends on this one. So we got two ropes, one on the front, one on the back. All right, so you got your fence on. Looks like a porcupine with all the zip ties. You get your hired help to come out here and cut these ends off.
rabbits on the loose. So here's our 10 by 8 tarp. So what we've done, it is 8 foot long ways, 10 foot going across, and it works out just right where we put it at the bottom on both sides. We make sure we're touching the, the ground on the back, and this back is going to be covered. Uh, we're just doing that this winter time, even though it's 80 degrees. But uh, and I'll screw this side down. We'll screw both sides down with these same sheet metal screws. <laughs> 